Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Rodri Cuts here, and as you may know, I am now. Whoa! All right, let's get it. As you may know, I am now a licensed barber. So, meaning I did go through the whole process of going through state board right here in California. So, I wanted to give to you guys my story of just about what to really expect at state board and how it went for me. So, jumping right into it, everything was. Uh, exactly how I was taught at school and the whole process of doing it the only thing that made it more complicated than what it was was just everything in your head so just knowing that your license is on the line and uh, whether if you pass or fail you're gonna be licensed or not was the only distinguishing factor that made it any more difficult than it actually was and when it comes to the written and the practical part of the test I was definitely a lot more confident in the practical part which is the hands-on the written I was stressing because I didn't necessarily know what was going to be the curriculum in the test um, I heard multiple things from multiple different people so I didn't know necessarily who to trust and some people didn't quite give like a, a correct answer or like a, a useful answer that would really help me so I was still scattered all around and had no clue. Um, right before I was going in, I was I was reading notes. I was the book. I was taking practice tests. I was doing I was doing anything just to gather information from everywhere. And um, when you get there, the actual rent a kit person is gonna go over your kit and is gonna show you everything that's in there. Make sure you have all your supplies. Make sure uh, you are aware of everything that is inside the kit and what is going to be used in lieu of what you typically or you normally use um so if i used to use barber side wipes and they're like oh we don't use barber side wipes we use epa registered uh disinfectant spray and paper towels she, she, so she's going to show you that and uh you're going to get familiar with this what's going to be in your kit it's all very simple it's nothing hard so um basically you're going to feel comfortable there and a cool story too was when I was getting my bag, uh, she it was an elder lady, so she was like, do you mind grabbing this? You know, just so I don't have to grab it. I'm like, yep. I go over there and my favorite number is eight. You know, <laughs> that's why the time right here is on eight, but my favorite number is eight. And I go for the eight bag and she's like, oh no, honey, not those ones. Those are the cosmetologists. I'm like, fuck, I'm finna fail the test now. And then uh, I put it down and then she gives me the bag that she was originally gonna give me and nigga it was number eight so i was like i was like yeah nigga, i said i already knew i was going i was going to pass just because i have my favorite number you know once you get your kid make sure you ask any questions that you do have you do not want to go in there confused on what is in your bag damn there gives you the answers on some of the things not on the, the actual written but like basically on how to do things so um just ask questions so moving on to the written part of the test uh it's actually very easy you're gonna sit down on this computer take your test completed to the best of your knowledge what I personally remember from there was that it was very simple all the practice tests that I did all the practice tests that I did take uh, I felt like were a lot longer it had it was just it was so much more words and compared to the ones at state board it was simple what was the pH of conditioner what color on the color wheel is uh, the opposite of this one to neutralize this? Or what um, what is steanoma? What is this disease? Like it was it was very simple. So um, my advice to you know taking the test is just know your terms, know the simple pH balances, know the color wheel, know um, know little stuff like that. You know just more textbook. And not being familiar with questions and stuff that is online that you practice. I did get stuck on one question. I was on that bitch for like five minutes, bro. I would not move. I was like, damn. But I did complete my test. I did go to my car and I instantly searched up. What is what is this? What is this? And uh they were the right answers that I guess. So I was so happy that um I knew that I got those answers right, that I wasn't even stressed. I was done at like 8:30. And mind you, my next test don't start till 12, 15, and I only gotta be 30 minutes early. So I had eight, nine, 10, 11, I'll say three, three and a half hours before I even start my next test. So obviously, um, you know, I'm on my phone, 
I go and I grab something to eat and I'm chilling in this parking lot and I'm just studying like I'm just reviewing everything and I'm like trying to visualize everything of how I was gonna uh, you know complete this test and now when I actually pull up to the um, the hands-on portion I left my bag at Renekit so I had to go grab the bag and of course me being me I waited last minute to grab it so I'm rushing to get over to the testing facility finally hop in there and the lady she kind of being a dick I'm finally in this bitch i'm like yo we're gonna take this test put my i put my bag you know right there and i start uh putting my little tripod up and he starts reading the directions i'm like whoa i, I ain't gonna lie i froze up I, I looked at my bag and i kneeled down i was like <sighs> everything that i did at school was literally that day the only thing was it was someone else that was uh, great in me and that there was other people around that I didn't know um, you know it was all the same thing It's definitely just being controlled in your head of like you know I got this having the confidence and doing the things that you would do so for me I kept realizing everything that I was doing wrong so every time I did do something wrong adding on to the headache that I had so when when you realize you're doing something wrong it's gonna stress you out more so try not to pay attention to it and just don't question what you're doing. Everything that I'm thinking is gonna become true or that's what I believe. So if I was believing I was gonna fail because of everything I'm doing wrong, then I'm gonna fail. But if I put myself in the right mind, uh, state of mind and saying that I'm gonna pass, then obviously I was gonna pass. So it's about infection and control procedures. So uh, making sure that everything is sanitary and that they are protected, it would definitely pass. Um, of course, knowing the procedure, you don't have to do it to the best of the ability. We do got to demonstrate that you know how to actually do the procedure itself. So once we get to the end of the test, dude is like, bro, y'all got 10 minutes to clean up. State board is going to be closing at 4. Return your kit and come back immediately so you can get your results. Room's quiet as hell. No one's saying nothing to each other. And then the whole time, too, I wanted to ask people. I'm going to be like, shit, how y'all feeling? You know, I wanted to say something, but like... Everyone was hella serious. The lady comes out with the lights and she's like, do, 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 do. the first guy, bro, he walks up and we're all like, shit, congratulations, folk. He walks out. Next one, she calls a female. Congratulations, she walks out. Best of luck to y'all. Good looking. She walks out. Now it's just me and the other dude. I'm like, do not let me be the last one. Like, I do not need that much pressure. And the lady she calls my name next and i can't even explain to y'all the fucking feeling of just hearing my name being called like someone saying raul i was like, <laughs> like all they did was say my name it felt so good so i walk up and then all the stress is away already i give her my uh id she verifies it congratulates me i'm looking at the mountains and i'm just i'm enjoying life at that point I'm like, wow, this this is crazy. I and my camera died. So just to conclude the story, I felt great. I have my license, I'm official licensed barber. So now I was able to move into my private studio. And um, yeah, so the whole state board experience, I definitely gotta give it to y'all. Y'all put some stress on us barbers and cosmetologists, but it is definitely something that anybody could get through. So as long as you put your mind to it, you're going to get it done. You're going to become a licensed barber. And if it's not the first time or the second, it's definitely going to be the third. So keep trying. Never give up. And uh, that's my story right there. To be honest, I have so much more detail I could go into. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to make the video too long. Um, so if you enjoyed that short clip, uh, definitely let me know down below. Appreciate y'all.